Glass blowing is a lot like, um, when people often compare it to dance, is really pace that you can't explain it. My name is Peter Ivey. I'm originally from Texas in America. Um, I've been in Japan for about 17 years now. I run a small glass program here in Japan. I think the most recognizable pieces of my work are first and foremost probably the soap bubble holder because that was a, a piece that I made in 1995. In the same way that glass is like an almost nothing material, a soap bubble is just barely in existence. I'm gonna make a jar for keeping soap bubble, I think a couple of weeks. So to have it sit there and be still and be protected and safe was just this interesting kind of juxtaposition. Most of the time, you don't even notice that glass is there. It's the closest material, it's the closest to nothingness. However, I, I would have these goblets and these colorful things and all these things on my shelf, but usually I wanted to have a glass of whiskey or a glass of water or tea to just pick out and the most simple things. Now I make mostly functional work. The coffee jar, the rice jar, the, um, the larger capsule light, the wire work. I think the combination of glass with one other material or two other materials is something that I really like a lot. It's the most popular work. I think that's what really set my work apart originally in Japan from other people. Like sportsman-like challenge of actually making glass, I was pretty hooked. The balance or how soft it is, or how it feels when I'm heating it, because it's not something you can teach. It's two people have to, you don't talk a lot, you know, it's just, you get used to it and, you, and things kind of come together. And if you wait too long, the piece is just gonna break. I first came to Japan, um, I didn't have this burning desire to go specifically to Japan. And, um, and I came and did one project here in Japan. That's when I met my, my wife. Then she had the opportunity to come teach here in Toyama. I was like, well, this is gonna be a good experience for her and a good experience for the, the child. And I'll just give this up and be a house husband. Toyama, it's really nice to be close to the ocean and also close to the mountains. And it is a beautiful landscape around us. You know. That's initially when we came here, I lived in this house. The house itself was built just after the war, so I was able to buy this building um, quite cheaply. It came out to about 10,000 US dollars. I designed all the, I um, probably drew 40 different floor plans or more. Now, right now the situation is that my ex-wife lives right down the road. Uh, my kids live with her for the most part. I go over there, I make breakfast in the mornings on the, during the weekdays. I make dinner three nights a week. In the afternoons when the kids finish school, they come here, read books. I like to spend time with my kids making things. <laughs> and I live with Itsuka, and um, she has a great relationship with the kids. She's, she does 90% of the work that, that, that we do. She's making everything happen. I can't give her enough credit. And she's very understanding of this situation that of the balance that I found with my Kiko now. But now that now we found a way that things are kind of working for us. And I have a kind of a personality disorder <laughs> where even my hobbies become work. I just I study it intensely and um, it kind of overcomes me. Yeah. It's hard to make money. I and mean, then when you turn on the furnace, it's on 24 hours a day and it costs money, you want to use it. I think the hardest part for me is that I could not keep up with, you know, people would order stuff and I couldn't keep up with it. I couldn't make it fast enough. So we would have customers waiting for like two years. For me, making something was never like, oh, I'm gonna express this. And I try to create an environment in which those things kind of are utilized. Or when you raise a glass and take the last sip of water or tea out of the glass and you're looking at the inside of that glass and experiencing that environment, you're not thinking, I'm supposed to be looking at this. It's something that happens. 
I challenge myself every day at work to push and push and push to become a better glass worker.